the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Right. I think we got it. Good morning, everybody. This is Sunday morning. Hallelujah. And uh, <laughs> I like to say hallelujah because it's the highest praise. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So I say hallelujah. Praise God, because you know what? That is where our strength comes from. It doesn't come from yourself. It doesn't come from me. It doesn't come from your ministry, your political party. I keep saying the political party because some of you have merged our faith, our doctrine, our Christianity to political parties. See, the same political parties that led you to slavery, the same political party that led you to the, the discriminations and all that other stuff, whether it was the same party today, it's still political. See, when you put politics and you add politics and you add our faith to politics, then that's where we mess up because you know what? Yes, you want to influence, what goes on in government, but you don't influence the government by trying to get it to enforce the laws. And you definitely don't influence the government to enforce um, things that are wrong and immoral and against the will of God. You don't, you don't have people, you know, some of us use the law and put it into politics to try to apply the law, make make our government do laws that that really uh, goes against the will of God because the law does not work and I know what you're trying to say yes it does one thing is it does not work if it worked why don't we have uh, I'm talking about, and I'm talking about not, not even just the the uh, the spiritual laws or the commandments of God. I'm, I'm talking about even our natural laws. We got people who speed. You got, you got speed limits, right? They still speed. You guys still got people who kill, don't they? Murder people, don't they? You still got people who sit there and uh, do things such as drugs and 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 then let's talk about all, all the other atrocities from racial discrimination and systematic racism. We're talking about, remember that, you know, you hear racist talking about the fact that they even had the little red line districts and all that stuff, all to sit there and try to impress another group. And they're still doing it in some form or fashion. You know, we're talking about, the, you know, God pray, we pray for the young man that was killed. As many have been killed and many probably will still be killed. But the, the uh, where the, I guess it's Memphis on this particular one, where, you know, at least five have been indicted, five black officers showing the legalized violence of this, of, uh, beating the young man named Tyree to death. The only person that was calm was him, trying to some comply. And then, you know, tell him lies, get your belly on the ground, but you got one guy pulling him, pull his arm this way, and you got another guy pulling his arm this way. He's trying to lie down, get on his belly, and you tell him to get on the belly, and then they're going to stay tase him. And it was black this time. Because the system has indoctrinated people to do bad things to people. And, and we sit there and try to add laws, biblical laws, to our government laws. And just like the police people who can't even do good in enforcing laws, but allow some people to get away because of the color of their skin, or allow people to get away because you know you owe them a favor, or out of fear, you know, uh, this it's just it's just 
just wrong. It's just outright wrong. You know, I can see, and the thing about some some police people, actually, and some people, when they talk about law and order, those are buzzwords of law and order against going against people of, of uh, different colors of skin, because you don't really want law and order against people that look like you. Or <laughs> and when I say look like you, the bottom line is that some of our laws and some of the, even the police force itself, are you there for all people? Are you enforcing all the laws? You know, like with the crack and the cocaine, <laughs> you you actually both have made both of them equal in, 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 in distributing justice, but you, you target it. And I was looking at the TikTok the other day where they said that they wanted a law against uh, they use the, the law against drugs and law and order are really talking about targeting people of color. And that's sad. That's sad because the only problem is that, that the believers, people that call themselves Christians, are endorsing bad behavior, knowing that those people that do bad behavior, those people who commit murder, and, and, and that's that's what the you know, that's one of the Ten Commandments. You commit murder. That's a violation of the Ten Commandments. And a murderer has no eternal life in him. So some people are doing things just for pleasing other people. And ministries have endorsed those behaviors. And then you call yourself a church. And you remember, I, I wanted to talk today about the fact that a tree is known by its fruit. It's so important to understand people who listen to us because I know that when we sit there and try to uh, minister the gospel, one of the bigger things that people will tell, will remind me, is the hypocrisy of ourselves, of the ministry, people in ministry, you know? Uh, people in ministry uh, hate people. And, and you know, you have a audacity to sit there and listen right now, knowing that you hate people of different colors, of different economical levels. You know it. And you sit there and believe that you're going to go, <laughs> that you're going to go before God. And, and that God is going to bless you. And, and, and the most of you know that you're not. You, you know that you're not going to be blessed. You know that you're not going to uh, uh, you know you're going to hell because you're a hater. You hate people just for economic reasons as well as and I think I think it's really economic reasons more than anything else. You will say that you're doing it. Some of you will say, "Well, I'm doing it because of race, color, skin, or supremacy, or whatever." But in reality, you 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 know it's really about money. It's always been about money, hasn't it? The slave trade was about money. If you sit there and listen to some, I saw some of the the, uh, the writings of some of the states. It was never, some people said, well, it wasn't about slavery. And, and yet all the states said that was the reason why. All of them said that the fact is that you, you're messing with their money. You're messing with their ability to uh, raise crops and everything else, you know? Um, it's, it's just, and then you gotta remember, and I'm I'm rambling a little bit, but because I'm you know it's better to use the scriptures. Uh, but the part is that what profits a man? You know the scripture. What I mean, at least those who call themselves believers, those who don't, I, I understand. And so we'll just clarify that for you. What profits a man to gain the the gain the world and yet lose his soul? Prophesy. Huh? I mean, when we look at this, when you look at life, what, what do you what do you do? I'm sitting there trying to type in the the scripture that says a tree is known by its fruit by that, that particular scripture. Come on, put it in. I didn't put it in there. Matter of fact, last night I was, I really was tired. I couldn't get, 
most of the stuff in. So uh, forgive me for trying to uh, put some things together at the same time. Uh, <laughs> but it, the, the point is, what profits a man to gain the whole world and yet loses his soul? Or what would a man do for exchange for his soul? And so many people have compromised so many ways uh, that are, are, is, is frightening for them. I'm more, you know, I'm more concerned about the fact is that so many people who have died and will die in hate and discrimination and racism and so-called superiority. How many people have died in that? Because, you know, parents taught some people, and, and some of you are doing it today, teaching people to hate. And, don't, is, and knowing the fact is, you read the same Bible, everybody has to, don't tell me, even the white supremacists have the same Bible. And yet, you, you ignore it for vain glory. And I'm trying to tell you, it's not about that. It's about recognizing that God loves all of us. And I know some people sit there and say, I even had one guy sit there and told me, man, repent because God don't love everybody. And they made that assumption based on the fact that somebody said, Esau, God hate Esau. And now you make it perpetually over billions of people. Or try to find some group that, that, that stem from billions of people. For one person. He only said one person. And he really said he hate what the person did. But that's irrelevant. The fact is that person is the only one that sold his birthright. And then some of you sit there and say, well, it's a generational curse. Well, all of those that Christ even said the generation from the fourth, to, from the first to the fourth generation. Esau has many generations since then. So how are you going to sit there and make it perpetual? Why are you going to make it perpetual? Because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. And, and the fact is that it shouldn't make you feel good. It should make you feel uh, sad for the outcome of, the, of, of, of any group of people. Do you understand the, the hell? Who wants eternity in hell? Who, I mean, who, who, who really wants somebody, wish somebody to live in hell for eternity. And I know there's plenty out there to think that, that that should be the case. But it's not even in turn in hell. You're talking about the lake of fire. You really want people to be there? Yeah, I guess you do, right? But for me, I'm not worthy. And I know you're not worthy for eternal life on your own your own ability or based on the color of your skin or anything you're not you're not worthy by following the laws because you can't fulfill the laws you're not you're not worthy because you you are the covenant people you're not worthy not because of you the covenant people or God's chosen people you're not you're not worthy because you're a Gentile you're not you're worthy because of the grace and the mercy of God only you are worthy because he loves you and forgiven you. Not you. Never been about you in the sense of earning your way and being justified. It's not. It's about his way. Amen. And that's what we're going to be teaching about his way. And that's why as we go through our study, the platform is all about Nehemiah 8 8. So they read in the book and the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading because we want to understand the reading of God's word and not manipulate God's word. One of my buddies the other day talks about what the scripture that said God created evil. God created everything. Because nothing created itself because if, you, if, if, if he didn't create it, that means there's some other source of creation. No. 
what God gave, though, in the sense of putting the whole scripture and the whole word of God in, in, in perspective, is that God gave every man a choice and every woman a choice to choose good or evil, to choose life or death. And he said, choose life. Even Adam and Eve, there was the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. See, evil was on the, it was, was, was one of the elements in the fruit of the tree, in that particular tree. And he told them, don't touch it, because you're not ready for it. Because you give evil the opportunity to manifest itself. But the point is that you don't choose death. You don't choose evil. He gives us that choice. And the Bible said God hate evil. But everything is created by God. If not, what, how, how can anything exist? Think about that when people sit there and say that. And does God hate Esau? And, and why you want God to hate other people because he hated Esau? Because that, that disqualifies people. And that's what we want to talk about today. And, and matter of fact, let's go ahead straight into it. Let me go ahead and get my timer in. I already talked what? Uh, so we're, we're, for this one, we're going 15 minutes. <laughs> and, oh, excuse me. What I want to do, like I did last time, is I'm not going to break this up. I'm going to continue on through. And then I'm going ahead and break it down in segments. And then I'll send it out uh, in segments. So, you know, the 20 or 30 minute segments. Because that's easier for, for many people to digest. And then when I break, because I think, I think when I come off live and make sure I'm still on live, because I, I, I got to check that. I see recording. But where's live at? Hey, good morning. <laughs> I thought you were frozen there for a while. <laughs> no, I'm listening to the uh, my my my. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why the how to get a live stream uh, key. Uh, my key, you want to go live? Uh huh. It, it's, the key must have been out, must have expired or or something. So what what I do is I'm gonna just go old school and, and just do Zoom. And then I'll see if I gotta buy, I guess I may have to buy a new key. Maybe the key expired when it moved to. Cause it didn't, it didn't do it last week either. Okay. You know? So I will figure that out later. Yeah, my fact, cause I, I'm ready to go ahead and get the, get the, get the messages going. And I'll just, you know, I'll just edit it and cut it, you know, upload it. Okay. But I like live stream cause I'll, but I still got to figure out not only the live stream, but to allow people who want to jump jump in from the live stream, you know? Oh, okay. the chat and everything else that they wanted to. Uh, so we're going to get, I'm going to get that right anyway. That way when people sit there and see Brother Addison come on and they got questions for him, yeah, they sit they wanna, there. Yeah, when they want to mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree. That's what it looks like sometimes. So I I want I want if you don't mind I really have something I wanted to uh, uh, talk about I always do anyway but I, I want to bring something up let me come off the share here because we are at least we recording and I can edit and download it later. Dear uh, Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You say when two or three got it in your name, you've been amidst them. Father, we invite and see the present Holy Spirit to get help us understand your word move us out of the way let the holy spirit have its way give us a word of understanding that not only for us to to receive and to digest but also to give to others we pray heavenly father use whatever comes out of this session be a blessing not only to us but to those who will listen we give you the praise the glory and honor yeshua's name we pray amen amen, amen. and amen. amen all right bro here's the title today and i'm you are the speaker you we just gave you scriptures for the day <laughs> for you to work with and i it'd be it'd be good to hear i know the title's long but i, I just wanted to, to explain i'll make it short on the on the video but i'm saying you know we're teaching you the gospel yeshua's way and i told somebody somebody asked on the, on youtube say well, who is yeshua and i sent them the you know the the translation and all that other mm -hmm. stuff 
So we take the base, we do it. That's basically following John 14, 6, Jesus on the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. So everything we do should be done based on how Yeshua would teach. He said, and I put down there and read what the law could not do. It's coming from Romans 8, 3. For what the law could not do, and it was weak through the flesh, God sent his only son in the likeness of sinful flesh to for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. Because the law, if we try to do righteousness by the law, it's not going to happen. And then I asked this question, because those what we've been talking about, everybody is, we, Brother Adams, I was doing the before show discussion, uh, is does black or white supremacy matter? That, that's, that's, that's the question. And I put an answer, no, just disqualifiers. Because that's what I think is a concern of people that come to the ministry is opposing the fact is it's funny brother as i was saying is that we we this is how we do salvation we 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 minister salvation to people everybody we do it either from the doors of the church are open we 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 do it in street ministries and and all we say what do we say brother as all we have to do is say man all you you life would just change if you just confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead thou shall be saved and with the heart man believe with uh, unto righteousness the mouth confesses made, made unto salvation you, you're saved now you're part of the kingdom you, you're a child of God you're born again and then what we do now we're moving to oh you, but you gotta see you 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 got to do this, this, and this. <laughs> yeah. If I see you doing this, this, and that, I'm going to disqualify you. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to change immediately. I want you to go back to the law or back to our doctrine, our denomination, our rules. Because if you're not, you're not saved. Oh, you got to get baptized our way. Oh, you got to get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, no, you got to get baptized in the name of Jesus. Oh, you don't supposed to get sprinkled. You're supposed to be fully immersed. Yeah. You, 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 you don't supposed to minister salvation somebody on their dying bed. We, oh, we're not gonna forgive you of everything you did. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you see, what I'm saying this immediately. We throw this disqualifiers yeah. and we, and we it was that we could make it laws. obvious huh i said we start making more laws we start making more laws and we forget about the fact is that a person especially the scripture is talking about the fact of from milk to meat and too many people want to keep people on the milk intentionally because they don't want to be in charge we talked about that earlier right yeah. so Let's 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 talk about that. And before that, let's make sure people remind about the Lord's Prayer and 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 what what if you want to quickly go over that the Lord's Prayer and and kind of break that down a little bit if you can. But I'm gonna want you to do a uh, synopsis of it because it take no, a long I time. Want, I want I want you to do that. That's that's okay. That's fine because I, I just tell the people to remind yourself the importance of praying daily you know yeah. i ask myself on a lot of my videos in my tiktok have you prayed today is to take time to get up and pray and if you don't know what to say god christ gave us a manner in which to pray and if you use these points these components in your prayer or just say these verbatim and then add some stuff to it that's great you know mm -hmm. but the bottom line is he said verse 9, Matthew 6, verse 9, after the man therefore pray ye, he said, you don't have to do the verbatim. That's not what he's trying to tell you. He said, just the matter, the, the pattern that you need to consider. Our Father in heaven, who are you praying to? If you're going to pray, who are you praying to? We're praying to the Father in heaven. We're praying to the creator of the heaven and earth and the universe. That's who we're praying to. And where does he sit? He sits in heaven. Amen. Hallowed be that name is to glorify him instead of glorifying ourselves. If we can even set ourselves daily, recognizing not to glorify ourselves, not to glorify ourselves with money and anything else, but glorify him. We are really starting to track. That kingdom come, meaning he's your king, not 
you don't want anything else to be king in your life. You don't want your pastor, you don't want your ministry, you don't want your denomination, you don't want your mama, you don't want your daddy, you don't want even yourself to be king. You want God to be king in your life. And maybe if we start letting him be Lord, I think we can get more things done than letting him be king. That will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Understand that the will is his word because he gave us his word. And we need to understand just because we see the behavior of people in politics, police force, and your mama and your daddy and your brother and the sisters, their way and their actions is not, if it's not based on the will of God, don't confuse your relationship with God based on the actions of people, based on the history of ministry, but based on the word of God. His will, where? Be done in earth as it is in heaven. The reason I put that in brother as is some people sit there and think that we preach trying to get to heaven, think that heaven is just in heaven. No, and no it's here too. His will for us is supposed to be done here just as it is in heaven. If he wants, if you're going to be blessed in heaven, if you're going to be fulfilled in heaven, if you're going to have everything you need in heaven, then his will is for you to have everything you need in earth. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Give us this day means this today. Yesterday is gone. And I know so many people are so hopped up on yesterday. And I understand there's so many hurts, so many pain. Brother Asley knows that, right? There's so many things of yesterday. And I'm not just talking about 24 hours. I'm talking about yesterday, your history, your life, your lifespan, the world history itself. That was yesterday. The day is the day to fix, to work on, and continue to grow in the things of God. The scripture says sufficient is today. Yeah. It's the eve thereof. It's today. So you want to focus on the day and move forward. And yesterday, I mean, tomorrow is not promised. That's why he said, give us this day. And the daily bread is what well again, bro? The word of God. It's the word of God. He wants you to know his will and be fed his will daily. And forgive us of our debts and we forgive our debt towards because that's how the enemy draws us back. That's how the enemy kind of keeps us from going forward. Because every time you operate in unforgiveness, you're constantly back there. Instead of, you constantly what? You constantly back on yesterday opposed to focusing on today. So that's why he said, forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt to us. And that also goes to that man that had forgiven all his debt, and yet he couldn't forgive somebody for a small amount of debt. And God said, that's evil. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. The fact is we want to be delivered from evil. We will be tempted. We will be tested. That's for you, for growth. <laughs> A test, what's the purpose of a test in school? Is to measure the stuff that you're learning and try to apply it. So don't 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 worry about temptation, except for you don't want to say, don't, don't leave it to temptations that's gonna kill me, Lord. And the scripture said he will never take you or present you with something that you cannot pass the test on. That's a good thing about a teacher. A good teacher is, oh, I know y'all can pass this test because I prepared you. Isn't that blessing? Uh but deliver from evil. But once again, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Giving God is your king, giving God the glory, and understand that the true power is not in the money, not in your flesh, not in anything else, but in God. Eternal, forever. And then 14, 15, the bottom line is if you forgive your, if you give me a trespass, you have the Father to forgive you. But if you don't forgive me the trespasses, neither will your father forgive you. So just keep that in mind. Have you prayed today? Use these components in your prayer. If you're minding yourself, I call it a reminder's prayer to forgive. But remember his will every day, just like Christ. So with that in mind, I want to go into this right here first, Brother Asset, and read that for us. It's, a tree is known by its fruit. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in all the lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.